But first here, we want to begin with the latest on Hurricane Lee. Forecasters are projecting the storm to become a Category 4 hurricane. Dangerous, they're saying. That 5 a.m. advisory just came out. Jennifer, so uh, kind of fill us in. Loop us in on the latest there. Yeah, so the latest, uh, you know, it, it's still on the forecast track that Lee is rapidly intensifying. And this is what it looks on satellite. It's still Category 1 hurricane. Looks like uh, we're getting some more of the bubbling of thunderstorms wrapping around the entire center. Uh, it looks like earlier it was running into some wind shear, maybe some drier air filtering in. But once it continues to track closer to the Caribbean area, it's going to move into areas that's very moist, less dry air and less upper level winds or, you know, weaker upper level winds. And so it's going to definitely have this opportunity to in intensify to a category three overnight tonight, maybe even earlier, and then a category four, certainly by sometime tomorrow, Friday, and remain as a category four through through the weekend, even through early next week. This is, though, some good news. When you see the cone staying away from the Caribbean with this kind of uh, developing hurricane, yeah, this is definitely some good news. Now, with that said, there'll be some indirect impacts to marine conditions all across the Caribbean, into the Bahamas, and even the eastern seaboard. So I'm going to take the spaghetti plot model seven days out because seven days out, you see that curve towards the north. The good thing is all the models are in agreement, so we know the turn is going to happen, but could the hurricane end up a little closer to Bermuda or a little closer to the eastern seaboard like the mid-Atlantic? It all has to do with timing, but the reason for that turn has to do due to this trough digging across the Midwest and mid-Atlantic by early next week. So this is some good news also for us here at home.